Warning, this experiment should be done outside or in a fume hood because it produces hydrogen gas which could build up and explode. Also, mixing hydrogen peroxide and vinegar produces a chemical compound called acetic acid. The acid is weak, however it's corrosive and very irritant. In this video, we're going to attempt to make copper 2 acetate. So first you're going to measure off 30 milliliters of white distilled vinegar. Grams and milliliters should work the same. Then to it, add 30 more milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. 3%. Now I am transferring it into another container to make it easier. Then you want to add your pure copper metal. Once your copper stops bubbling, you should have a greenish bluish solution. And at this point, remove your copper metal. Okay, so then you let it evaporate. I just let it evaporate naturally, but you can boil it. It took about um a week. Yeah, actually exactly a week for it to entirely evaporate. And you should be left with this blue powder. So I'm just going to scrape off all this stuff that formed on the side. I then transported all of the material into a mortar and crushed it with a pestle. I then transferred it into a vial. There you have it. You just made copper to acetate.